Ask Lou is brought to you by Ace Hardware, delivering helpful hardware service since 1924. Ace, the helpful place. Here's a question from Vicki from California. I have a double copper sink. We've never found a way to keep it clean. I do not like the patina. It looks horrible. Any suggestions? Well, Vicki, it sounds like you really don't like that sink at all. Maybe you should just replace the whole thing. But if you wanna try and bring it back to life, try a product called Brasso. <laughs> Funny story, I used this to impress what became my future mother-in-law one Thanksgiving by polishing some light fixtures that were super dull using Brasso. You can do the same with your sink. It's like a cream that you're just gonna apply to the sink and then using a Scotch-Brite pad and some consistent pressure, you're gonna work in little circular motions all the way around. That patina that you don't like will be removed and you will have a shiny copper sink. Here's a question from Kathy. Lou, I need to paint my 1912 asbestos siding on my one and a half story traditional home. I've been told that it can't be painted, but it really needs paint. Kathy, here's the dirty little secret about painting. You can paint anything. It's just a question of how long you want it to last. Now, I would go ahead and clean the whole exterior of the home using light pressure from a pressure washer. Don't do any sanding or scraping even because there's asbestos in that tile. Then, once it's dry, you can do a little caulking with some paintable caulk and then prime the entire house with an exterior grade primer. After that, let it dry. Two coats of paint and primer in one exterior grade. I can't tell you how long it's gonna last, but it's gonna look a lot better than what you have right now. Here's a question from Jorge. I'm in search of a new replacement attic fan motor. Can you please recommend a good motor brand? Well, the nice thing about these attic fans is the motors can be replaced, which means you don't have to do any work on the roof on the outside. You gotta take that old motor out of the housing and disconnect the fan and then take it to either a good hardware store or electrical supply house. Dayton and Emerson are probably the premier manufacturers of good electric motors. But you gotta make sure it's the right amps, the right RPMs, and it fits the actual fan that you have. Put it all back together, do the wiring, and you're good to go.